We hear in the Gospel today, Jesus says, Get behind me, Satan. You are not thinking as God does, but as human beings do. And so sometimes humans, we tend to think without hope. We don't have the hope we should. Stresses, worldly anxieties sort of cloud our minds. I think about how I need to control things instead of the hope that waits for me, that I could be with God forever. And so the word esperanza is hope in Spanish. And esperar, the verb that's the, the root of it all, means to wait. And so what do I wait for? For whom do I wait? I work at a, a boarding school for trouble and abandoned youth in Mexico. And when I leave, or when the boys see me leaving, even to just run an errand, they say, where are you going? And then I tell them where I'm going. I'm going to the office. I'm going to run an errand. And they go, oh, that's right. We did have that errand to run. And then they all start to follow me. And sometimes they, <laughs> sometimes they win me over, and I do. I just take them with me. But we hear also in the gospel, whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. When Christ tells us to follow him, he says, stay with me, be with me. His disciples stayed with him day and night. His apostles accompanied him everywhere. And if we can stay in his presence, then we will. We'll hope for good things. But when we leave the presence of our Lord, that's when the worldly anxieties and the stresses and the fears begin to come to us. And so this week, as we're praying, we should pray to staying in the presence of God. Because if we're, if we're with our Lord and we want to spend time with Him, we'll begin to have the same desires, the same hopes. And so we'll want the same things that God wants for us in our own lives. And then that way, the worldly stresses, the anxieties of everything won't creep into our prayer. And we'll be happy to be with Christ and remain with Him forever.